Hey, what's up guys? It's for everyday here and I'm here today with another video. <laughs> Why are you laughing all here? <laughs> hey, what's up guys? It's for everyday here and I'm here today with another video. In today's video, I'm actually doing a DIY project. Today, I have my friend Tatiana with me. So this project is actually for her. It's gonna be for her mans. Um, so today we're actually going to be doing a video on how to do a like liquor kind of bouquet. Um, this is for a birthday present, um, but you can also use this for any type of gift. You can use it for Valentine's Day um, or anything like that or for like a special occasion if you want a gift. I know sometimes it's really hard to choose like a gift for like a guy. So we went on Pinterest and she picked one out and I do like a lot of um, DIY projects just for Danny whenever I'm trying to create him like a birthday gift. So I was like, oh, I can help you with that. So today, <laughs> today we're going to make a video. Um, of course, if you are doing this for um, your boyfriend or for whoever, um, I would just recommend that they drink or they are of the age to drink. Um, you can do liquor. Um, you can also do candy, like if they don't drink, you can like switch the liquor out for candy, like it doesn't have to be for drinking purposes. I've done this bouquet for Danny whenever he turned 21, so I'll also insert a picture from when I did his. I actually did his like in a giant like beer kind of like mug, so I'll go ahead and insert that picture. <laughs> If you're making something for your significant other, it's cute, it's like from the heart, and they're like, oh, you made that for me. Yeah, so, yeah, so today we're going to show you guys how we make our liquor bouquet, and let's get right into this video. All right, you guys, so this is the basket that we'll be using. It doesn't have to be like a really big basket. Um, we got this basket from Walmart. You can get like some cute little stencils from Michaels just so that you can put on the basket as well. We are going to need some foam. Now this foam is not the dry foam. This foam is just the um, like the sturdy type of foam so that we can actually put the sticks into them. So you want to go ahead and get your sticks. So the sticks that we got, um, so this is like a pack of eight but it has like a bunch of different types of styles of sticks in it because we didn't know if we need a really skinny or really small just kind of depending on the size of the liquor that you have or candy. Um, you want to go ahead and get some sticks. Make sure to get all the liquor that your man or your friend that you're making for likes. We only got five because um, we're making like a cute little small type of bouquet. Um, but by all means, if you need more types of liquor, go ahead and get some more. Um, and then we just have some candy that we'll be decorating it with. We have some more candy in the back just in case we need it. Um, you can also decorate the sticks with candy as well. Make sure to get some tissue paper because this is what we're going to actually cover the foam with. Be sure to have a dog because you want to always have a dog whenever you're trying to do a video. Hi, Tia. Say hi, Tia. Say hi. Hey, Tia. All right, so for this little foam piece, we're going to try and fit it into this box as best that we can. I'm going to use the scissors to kind of like cut where it kind of stops. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect because we're actually going to cover it with that with that tissue paper. So we're going to cover these foam pieces with the wrapping paper. And then we're just going to tape it. Once you've went ahead and wrapped your tissue paper on the foam, now you want to go ahead and put that to the side and you want to take your sticks and you actually want to put your liquor on the sticks. Now to do this, I usually just lay the liquor down and I will put glue on the liquor. And then you want to go ahead and lay the stick.
and then if you do need to put more you can. And then it's pretty stick. It's pretty stick. <laughs> and it's pretty stuck on there. And you want to just do that to all of your bottles. And like I said, if you're not using um, the bottles, then you can also do this with the candy. So we just finished putting all of our items on the stick. And we put some of his favorite pieces of candy also on the stick. Um, and now we put some words on the stick just to make it more decorative so that we can put it in the box as well. Now once you get your items, you want to start actually placing them inside of the box. It's cute. I like it. It's dorks. So we end up having to actually cut some of the sticks down because it was really too high. Um, for some of the drinks and we wanted it to be a little bit lower um, so this is how we arranged our drinks and our candy and now we're just gonna add some flair to it because it does look a little bit plain right now so now we're just gonna add some stuff to it we're gonna add the ribbon and then also we're gonna decorate the sides just to add a little bit of color um, I started adding some of this tissue paper which is red and I'm just like bunching it up and just cutting it and like laying it in so we can cover some of the white parts um, which doesn't really matter it just adds a little bit more color and red is his favorite color so if you want you can also get the color that's their favorite but we're mostly just trying to cover up just this bottom part now for the ribbon part whenever you take some of the ribbon we're curling the ribbon, so you just cut it, and um, you'll take the scissors, kind of like open them up, and then I'm going to start on the unshiny side, and I'm just going to take it and like drag it, so it makes it all curly. And then we're just going to drop those in there. I tried to make like some bows on here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Try to make like some bows on there, but this ribbon isn't really that good for bows, so I only did bows on a few of them. But it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be cute. All right, so we just finished putting all the confetti and everything, so now we're just gonna add the happy birthday letters um, to the front. I'm gonna do it off camera just because um, my hot glue gun is warming up and I have to um, use it by the plug. Alright you guys, so here is the finished basket. I think it looks really good. And from that sticker pack that we had, um, we just started adding them onto the bottom of the basket so that the basket doesn't look all boring. And then it actually came out really good. Like at first it started looking pretty plain so we started freaking out saying, oh my gosh, what are we going to put on there? Alright you guys, so there you have it. Here is our finished box or bag or basket or bouquet. It's like a cute little bouquet. I think it's so cute. Like so cute. I, I want it for myself. It's so cute. I told her I was like going to steal it. Like, <laughs> But yeah, she said that I can't. I hope her man enjoys it. Thank you! <laughs> Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope your gift baskets come out as nice as that one. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel already. Thank you Tatiana for being a special guest on my video Hi. and giving me a cute little project that I could do today. Um, but thank you guys so much. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys on my next upload. Bye!